Hi, I'm Dabi for you and call me Dobbs. Today I am reviewing Love Star Girl by Jerry Spinelli. Before I start this book review, I just want to talk about um, I went on vacation to Iceland for eight days. There will be Iceland vlogs coming up, so stay tuned for that. Um, I also posted a Iceland quiz video where I competed with my brother in a quiz about Iceland. So please go check that out. Um, can you like put it here or here? And we also, during the Iceland trip, I read two books. I read Stolen Girl and The Collector. And I'm not sure I might do something about those. I don't know. Um, but today I'm reviewing this book, which I read a long time ago. Um, but I just didn't review it, so I'm, I'm, I might forget a lot about it. So yeah, let's begin. Book review, this book review has spoilers. It's like a book talk, I guess. Um, it has spoilers from Stargirl and Love Stargirl. Um, just a warning. So, Love Star Girl is the sequel to Star Girl. This book is set after Star Girl moves away, and this time it's under the perspective of Star Girl. And this book is a series of like letters that Star Girl wrote, and she wrote it as the longest letter ever written. And it's written like a diary or journal. Like she dates, um, she has dates and she writes down like um, her thoughts that day. Sometimes it's really short, sometimes it's multiple pages. And she's writing this to Leo, her ex-boyfriend. And she talks about how she kind of fall, starting to fall for someone else, but she's still thinking about Leo and her new struggles in this new like place that she has to adapt to um while still thinking about leo and still having thoughts of him um even though he might be sh she might be catching feelings for someone else so love star girl i think love star girl was really cute and i liked it and it, it really showed like because last time star girl was from leo's perspective and I liked how this was from Stargirl's perspective because you can kind of see like different feelings and how she thought of the world. I did like Stargirl better though. Um, I rated Stargirl four out of five stars and I rated this book three to 3.5 um, out of five stars. The only reason I did this was because in the book Stargirl, she was portrayed as like very it's she was portrayed more weird more happy like more like outgoing and free but i feel like in this book um she was less weird she was less of herself she was kind of more like a different person and she wasn't the star girl that i had read about and that i loved in the first book um, but that does not mean that I did not like this book. This book was really amazing. It showed what Stargirl felt in her struggles in this new place that she moved to. How like sh her, she kind of met new people and it was, it was really fun to read. Um, I also really liked how um, the, the different characters in this book um, how their personalities were very like distinct they were very like different from each other like um two different for example two different characters there were dutsi and alvina their personalities were just very like special they made me like remember them and like alvina was very like tough um like dutsi was more like bubbly and she was like cute because she was a little kid so yeah i thought that the characters were, were very well written. And overall, I think that this book was really good. Um, 
I rated it, like I said, 3 to 3.5 out of 5 stars. It was fun to read and it um, gave me kind of like, I kind of remembered Stargirl and I kind of like wanted to read it again because I read it in December and um, I really like this cover. <laughs> the Stargirl and Love Stargirl covers, they're so simple and they're so cute. So, that would be the end of my book review. If you like this video, please like this video. And while you're down there, please subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. So, what I did is I looked back at all the descriptions that the author gave of Stargirl in the book Stargirl. Um, because there weren't that many in Love Stargirl. And I took one of her specific outfits that he described. And I kind of redrew it as a sketch. I think it would have been better if I colored it in, but I kind of just sketched it out. Um, and it said in the description that she was wearing overalls. She was wearing a bib, which I didn't really know how to draw. Um, she had pigtails with shoulder length sandy hair, and she had drawn fake freckles on her nose. Um, and that she had like red baggy sweatpants. So that's how I created this. Oh, and she also had a ukulele. Um, and I kind of created this little cute sketch. Thank you for watching.